Greetings, fine people of the internet. This is Eric Meal Time. Welcome to another edition. Today's meal is going to be Coco Ichibanya. It's a curry house and it's supposed to be delicious. Several of you have requested it, so let's go. Look, it's English friendly. They have English menus. Here's the grand menu. Take a look at this. Look at it opens up like that. It's a super menu. Look at all the stuff. I think I'm gonna get this. It's called beef zanmai curry. So this is beef cutlet right here. Usually it's a pork cutlet or a chicken cutlet. Beef. And how about this one? This one looks good. Seafood zanmai. A couple of fish fries there. And these are squid rings. Here's the toppings that you can get on your curry if you want. Oh, look at that. It's like a half boiled egg. And how about a salad? Maybe this one. It's a tuna potato corn salad. Corn salad should be eaten with a spoon. Mm, that's some really fresh corn. It tastes like it just came off the top. Yeah. Eat some of the potato here. Potato salad. Mm, big chunks of potato in there and the tuna. The tuna's got water in it, so I know I prefer it, the water taken out and then added a little bit of mayonnaise in it would be better. But this is just the way they do it in Japan. The water or the oil stays in it. So, not my favorite. Let's get another mouthful of corn. The corn is amazing. So fresh. Soft boiled egg. Oh, oh boy. Ooh. Right there. Perfect. Look at the color on that, the glaze. It's gonna be so sweet. Beef short rib. Boneless beef short rib. The sauce is really good. Oh boy, it's cooked just right. Oh. Right, let's mix up the egg a little bit. And we're gonna dip this into the egg. Oh yeah. This should make it perfect. Going in for the first bite. Hmm. Well, it's different. It's different. Very different from the standard pork. And this is a double order of the curry sauce here. I wanted it really rich. Oh, this is amazing, guys. So rich and gooey. Look at that mean. Mm. The seafood curry. Oh, it smells so good. Fresh, just out of the sea. So this is white fish here. These are a couple of clams on top. This is calamari or squid, squid rings. And I think there's also shrimp inside here. So I'm gonna add some uh, pickles on top of this, I think, just spice it up a little bit. Pickles, yeah, put them right on there. So, first we gotta scramble the egg. Ready? Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah. Make that curry sauce a little bit richer. Yeah, the curry is it's fairly watery here. Yeah, look at that. It's very kind of liquid-like, so having the egg would be nice. Try the squid first. Squid rings. Mmm. It's good with the egg. Let's try one dipped in curry. Better. I'm gonna get into the fish here, shall we? This is a heavy piece of white fish. All right, let's bathe it in the curry. Give it a bath. Oh boy. 
is a treat. I'm tasting mostly the breading. Not too much fish here. Not much fish inside there. All right, what else have we got here? Unidentified piece of something. Squid legs. Oh boy, there's squid legs in here. Deep fried squid legs. Oh. Man, that's weird. It's really supposed to be curry with a spoon so you can get full mouthfuls. Yeah, full mouthfuls. <laughs> Maximum mouth fullage. Get some more of that beef. Oh, the short rib beef. Mm. This meat, it's really the first time I've had this, so it's a little bit strange. I'm so used to having pork or chicken instead of the beef, so. Yeah. I think I prefer the pork. Mm. But it's interesting. Uh, iced coffee, this stuff's a treat in Japan. All right, so Koko Ichibanya, the curry house. Time to rate this meal. Boy, I don't know. I like the way that you can customize the food. I really like the toppings that you can do. It's, it's good like that, the variety. So really you can make it what, what you want and that's, that's special. A lot of curry places, you can't do that. So I'm gonna give it a, I don't know, what is my ranking scale? It's six heads total. I'm gonna give it a total of four, four Eric heads. It's a gnome. I enjoyed it, but the curry's a bit watery for me. It's a good quick eat if you're hungry. So I definitely recommend it. Price-wise, it's it's not bad, about $10 a plate with the extra toppings and the extra uh, curry. So yeah, definitely give it a try. It's I think it is the number one curry shop in Japan as far as number of actual locations they have. So there it was, Koko Ichiban. Give it a try and uh, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing your comments and uh, subscribe. See you in the next one. Give it a like. Oh man, I'll tell you what. Curry fills you up. Oh man, all that rice, curry, I am stuffed. Oh, need to go run a marathon or something.